Here with 2023 O lineman Joe Odding uh, after a big win against Osawatomi. Only a half of action for you tonight, um, but what do you feel like you did well and, and maybe just this offense in general to put up 38? Uh, we did well. We passed the ball well. We ran the ball well, and we did everything possible to get this win. How about your individual performance tonight? Um, you were all across the board on O line and then got in a little bit as a D end. Um, what do you what do you like so far about the way that your junior season's going? Anything that you're trying to improve on? Uh, I'm just trying to improve on my all around like hand placement, my pulling, my footwork, and all of that good stuff. And the defensive side, I'm just trying to fill my gap and get my tackles and all of that. So yeah. But playing defensive end, do you feel like that helps you as a lineman as well? Oh uh, yeah, it improves my quickness and okay. my explosiveness off the ball. So. Now, the last time I saw you, you were fresh off that offer. Uh, it was yeah. the very first K-State camp, your first camp, and then you went on to have, what, four consecutive offers after that. Yeah. Um, what has changed since I last saw you in Manhattan, besides the offers? Uh, not too much. Just been around with my team and getting better with the team as well and just having a good season. Now, Iowa State, KU, K-State, Missouri are kind of the four Power Five regional yeah. schools. Um, is there anybody else that you feel like has been in contact lately, maybe starting to? Uh, I've had some, a lot of contacts recently. Tennessee, Cincinnati, uh, Memphis, let's see, California, um, and quite a few others. Okay. When you were able to go on those four different camps and those four visits that you've been to the, the schools that have offered you, um, when you look back on K-State, what still kind of stood out about that time you had with Coach Riley and the Wildcats? Anything? Uh, just that uh, they're all about family and discipline and they all have a great structure on that program and they've done everything right so far. So. Well, you were, had a chance to be up at the picnic as well. Yes. Um, wh what kind of takeaways did you have from that? Um, what guys, recruits, or players did you spend the most time with? Uh, I spent a lot of time with Dez and his uh, roommates. Mm -hmm. um, we, uh, it was good being around all the players, though. It's one thing Case that hasn't been scared to do, or that have, they've done well is they haven't been scared to just show us around with the players. And so I've gotten to be quite a few of them. Now, how often do you talk to Desmond? Uh, weekly. Okay. Usually, we, here and there, every other week. So. Is he pushy? Or is he uh, let you kind of do your thing? Not really, but I mean, he, you know, he, he always <laughs> gave me a little joke here and there, but yeah. Um, do you have any plans to get back up for maybe a game day visit? Has Coach Riley or anybody been in contact with you about that yet? Yeah, I'll go up on the Iowa State game. Okay. What kind of things will you be looking for when you're at the game? Are you strictly going as a participant, just enjoying like, like a fan would? Uh, I'm just trying to see how the offense works and just watch the line and get a feel for the atmosphere and just see how Riley's coaching style is on the field and sure. just all that stuff. Have you had a chance to watch much of them this year? Um, I've had game day visits, but I've seen some highlights of like after my game day visits and they've looked pretty well so far. So. Okay. And then they, they've battled a lot of adversity, I could tell, with Skyler going down. Sure, and, sure. Yeah. Has Coach Riley, I know you've mentioned in the past that you feel like you're going to be an interior player, but do you feel like the door's open maybe to swing left side, right side, tackle? I I definitely think I can play wherever I, I need to be. I have the quickness and ability to do anything possible. So. What kind of timetable do you have set for yourself? with this whole recruiting thing? <laughs> um, honestly, I have no clue. I'm just trying to get a feel for relationships right now and just see how every school does and all of that. In a perfect world, could you see yourself committed before your senior season begins? Probably. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then last but not least, for fans out there that are curious about what you're specifically looking for when you sit down with your parents, when you sit down with Coach Arnold, what's kind of the top few things on your checklist? It's the relationships. Um, the community and just the coaches.